We're studying air pollution in the urban environment. Everybody's breathing in air every day, so this is a critical question for everyone to, to be involved in. The work we do here at this lab is essentially looking at the external environment, so looking at the geometry of the buildings in the city and uh, how the wind flow moves pollution around these complex geometries. The MAGIC project specifically is looking at a borough in the South Bank. In our wind tunnel model, we're modeling a specific building um, that we have instrumented and we're, we'll be comparing the, the measurements in the field with uh, what we uh, simulate here in the lab. So the particular experiments we're performing are involving measuring velocity with laser techniques. So we use a technique where we cross two laser beams and measure the velocity at that crossing point and we move that crossing point through the neighborhood of interest. As well, we're uh, doing experiments in the wind tunnel where we release propane from a point source and then we sniff it downstream with a sampling tube at various points to determine the concentration of pollution that has traveled downstream at various locations in our neighborhood. Right, so I think we've talked enough. Uh, I'm actually standing in front of the wind tunnel where I do experiments. Why don't we take a look inside? So inside the wind tunnel, here we have a set with uh, those five tall spires. So that's to produce the right wind conditions that are approaching our model. And you can see all the little short strips here of the roughness elements. So that's to sustain the gustiness of the wind as it approaches so that we have the right approaching wind conditions. Our experiments are focused on this particular region of London. So this roundabout intersection and our study building is right here. So we have the busy London roadside. So our office, tower, uh, office room is here and our courtyard is on the other side. We've recorded some of our visualization results. So we had a camera mounted looking down on the model and essentially we're releasing smoke up here and we're looking at how the smoke travels downwind to the Clarence Center site. So we've enhanced the visualization by turning out the lights and we have a horizontal laser light sheet which allows us to visualize the vortices coming off of this tall building and the other buildings upstream of the Clarence site. So this interaction of the upper level winds and the street level winds that the pedestrians are exposed to is a big question that we're trying to answer here with this work.